So I am super excited about today's video. We are going to be testing out the new InnoSub cell phone cases. Originally, their cell phone cases had a metal insert. They still have those that you would sub on and put on here. They have, and those were not wireless charging compatible. So now they've come out with some new ones that are wireless charging compatible. And instead of that metal insert, it's a tempered glass insert. So let me show you. So this is how it looks. So it's a tempered glass that is white. So it's white on one side and then it has the sticker. It has a little red tab to tell you where the back is and where the front is. It doesn't have like that glitteriness that the metal inserts have. I'm really excited to try these. We're gonna test out and see if they actually are wireless compatible. But I'm really excited about these. I'm gonna be doing one for my phone, which I'm really excited. They also did send me one for the iPhone Pro Max 13, iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 13, and iPhone 11. I did read on their website that they have it available for iPhone 6 to 13. So that's really exciting. I'm so excited about these. I love the other cases and they're really beautiful, but it does suck that it can't do wireless charging. So when they told me they came out with some more wireless charging, I was like, ah, so excited. So let's get to prepping our phone case to sell. Them. So they do have templates for all of their cases. So basically I took that template and then I just made a rectangle that was a little bit bigger than it just because their templates have black like surrounding it and I really just don't want them to print out that black. So I just made a rectangle that was a little bit bigger than it so that I have some room to kind of play around with it. If you use their template, you could fit three on a page, but you could also use their template and then just trace it in silhouette, like the actual part that looks like your phone case, like the part you're gonna sub on, and then put that into Affinity and put your design into it if you want. So I'm just gonna be doing, it's no secret, I love florals, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, you want to make sure that you take out this back part because you don't want to melt that in the heat press. And then we're going to be subbing on this part. I'm like questioning now, like, because this side looks more matte. So I wonder if you're supposed to sub on that side and it'll show through. I'll try a different case that's not, I was going to do mine, like the one I'm putting on my phone. But I'm going to try a different one because I don't want to mess it up the instructions on the website aren't really clear so i'm thinking that it has to be the back part because this part is glass so in that case if you're doing like a collage or something like that then you shouldn't mirror it i'm pretty sure you sub on the back where it has the sticker on it because that's the side that kind of feels like it has some sort of coating on it we're gonna see we're gonna try this out I don't think it's the other side. So I'm just gonna tape it down with some heat tape. I am using Enosa paper. The time and temp for this does say 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 to 60 seconds. So I'm gonna do 60 seconds at 360. Let's take this to our heat press and let's see if I'm right about the side you sell. I have my heat press set to 360 and I'm gonna do 60 seconds. I'm gonna put some butcher paper on the bottom. I won't need any on top because I'm using InnoSub's paper, but you see all of this, you don't want that getting on your heat press. So I'm gonna put it with, with the paper facing up and I'm gonna press, it's light to medium pressure and I'm gonna press at 360 for 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna put my heat glove on. This is gonna be hot. And I'm gonna lift up one corner just to see. It had, it didn't sub well. So I don't know, do I just not have? Okay, so I think I, oh, this is really hot. I think I was right about what side you sub on. This side just doesn't look like 
much soaped on it, but when you look on this side, you can see the design. So I'm putting that to the side so it can cool down. And just so you can see, this is how much ink release I had. Okay, so I was right. That back piece, so the piece that has the sticker that says back on it, that's what you're gonna sub on. So if you're doing a collage with photos, point blank, don't mirror your design. This is a case where you don't want to mirror it or else um, your image is going to be backwards. So keep that in mind. Um, it came out pretty good. There's no ghosting or anything like that. This is just how my image is. Came out really good. So now to adhere it, it's just like we have done before. So this orange thing right here is actually like a paper that you peel off and the sticky part is going to be on the phone case. So I've shared this before, but a good trick is to get some heat tape, put it on your cell phone case, hold it and just kind of hover over until you have it where you want it and then press down. So that is so cute, I love that. We're gonna have to test this out to make sure it does wireless charge. I also made one for my phone. So this one's the 13. And then I have a 12 Pro Max. So I'm gonna do the same thing, take off the orange paper. I'm gonna take heat tape. Stick it on here, hover it over it. And then press down. Once I have it where I want it, that's when I press down. Then you can take off the heat tape, it doesn't affect anything. And let's try it on my phone. How cute is that? Ooh, I love it. Now let's go test it out and see if it can wireless charge. Okay, so the case came out super cute. I love how it looks. So tried it while it does technically wireless charge, but if you have a car mount in your car that is MagSafe, it's not going to, it's not gonna stay there. I tried it, it, it kept falling um but it does technically wireless charge so keep that in mind if you do have some mag like a car mount that is magsafe but if you have like a magsafe charger on your nightstand it should charge fine mine charged but again it just can't stay on the thing probably because maybe it's too thick for the magnet and the phone to they put to the mount I don't know that's that's my theory but it can technically wireless charge again it's really really cute love how the colors look on it it's not glittery like the metal inserts are um, but it is really really cute I don't feel like the colors are as vibrant as the metal insert but it's still really cute and I really do like it. So I definitely think they're worth a shot. They're on sale right now. So check them out. I'll have it linked down below. All my buttons and everything work with the case. Doesn't it feel like you have a new phone when you put a new phone case? That's kind of how I feel. So check it out. I really like it. Again, it can wireless charge like it says. It just can't hold up if you have a mount that is MagSafe. So keep that in mind. We have an older phone that isn't MagSafe and that doesn't really matter to you. But yes. Let me know down below what you guys thought about it. If you guys are going to try it out. If you have any questions. And again, I'll have it linked down below. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.